Hey everybody, welcome back to the video on the channel, and in today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and installation of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. Let's get into the video. Alright, these are the specifications. It is GeForce RTX 3060, 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, 192-bit memory bus, and then it has three display ports and one HDMI. It is the overclocking edition, but I don't plan on doing any overclocking with it. But I'm pretty sure all 3060s are overclocking edition. Alright, now let's unbox this thing. So you may be asking uh, why I got this. But the reason I got this was because I was looking for an upgrade for my computer. For, like, graphics card for a while. And I found this thing uh, for sale. I got it for $900, so it was not cheap. So I actually had to sell my old one. My 2060. To help pay for this so i sold it yesterday and i got this thing today but yeah pretty excited about it so got the plastic off now let's find where here we go let's just all right here we go let me open it up we have some nice styrofoam with some letters on it we have i think the Manual for it. Right here. Manual. You just manual. And then we have the beast itself. The 3060. And it should hopefully fit my computer. So let's go ahead and install it. Okay, so we have my computer on my desk right now, and we're gonna get this thing out of the package here. So let's just, I'm not trying to open this, where's the scissors? Let's just cut this. So, all right, and then we'll just carefully pull it. Oh, here we go. Look at this thing. Dude, that's sick. And it should hopefully fit, like I said, in the case. But the first thing we do before we install this is I need to uh, take out the screws here for the graphics card. So let me do that. All right, so now that we have the two screws here out, the next thing you want to do before touching the graphics card or anything with that is go, go ahead and you want to make sure that right here, there's a little switch here, or you zoom in. See, you want to make sure this is pushed down before you put it in or else it will not go in. Like the graphics card will not fit. Then what we want to do is if you have a new card like this, you want to make sure to pull off this protective cover right there for this thing. So once you do that, you just want to make sure that you have it the right way like this. So the fan's facing down on the case. And then you want to make sure that over here, the holes line up with the screw holes. So those line up. Then you just want to make sure that it's kind of a little bit hard, but you do this right. Um, one second. All right, sorry. You just want to make sure that that um, that thing we took off thing for here, so like the connector for that goes to the motherboard, is lined up with the slot, and then make sure that the holes on this side where the screws are, they're lined up too. You just want to push until you hear a click. Mine's already clicked into place since I already put it in off camera. But then you want to go ahead and just screw the screws for it back into the like through the GPU and into the case. All right, once the screws here plugged in, you want to go ahead and install any of the like the back plates or stuff that go right so there's not a hole there. But I don't have to worry about that. But once you've done that, you want to just basically go ahead and plug your graphics card in so it does so it has power. Um, mine, this one has just one eight pin connector, so I'm just gonna connect the original one I had before for my old GPU. And we'll just put this in. We'll do the four, four three, sorry. Uh, like, where, I can't see that. And then we'll do this, the two. And just like that, it should be plugged in. That click was the graphics card getting pushed in the rest of the way. Thought it went in, but now it is in. So yeah, now, now we're gonna turn it on. All right, now we can click the on button. We can see that everything turns on. And the graphics card is powered on as well. So now we just wait and see if it'll post. But 
the one thing that I should have said before was make sure to take these plugs out that are in like your HDMI cord and stuff. Uh, like the ports in the back of the graphics card so that you can actually plug your HDMI and display port cables into it. But we're just waiting for this to load now and then I'll see you after. All right, so we have it all loaded up and everything. Don't mind the background. That was been there for a while. Um, but this one's task manager now just to make sure that we have it here. So if we go here, performance, and we can see GPU. And up here it says NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. And then down here it says we have our 12 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory and then eight gigabytes of shared GPU memory. Now, when you first turn on your computer, this thing might not look like all good graphics and stuff like this. It might look like zoomed in and like big like icons and stuff. So in that case, what you want to do is go to the GeForce website and then go to the driver section and then just put in the product type, your series, product, operating system, language, and then like download type. So for me, I had a GeForce, I had 30 series, 3060, the version of Windows they have, the language, and I just download type all. Then I click search, and then it just showed all the different drivers here. And I just installed the newest one right here. So yeah. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, share with your friends, and goodbye.